Right here we have a Sega Game Gear. I'm going to turn it on. See the Sega sign. Uh, Super Monaco Grand Prix. Now it has no batteries in the back. Okay. What I did was I just took this plug here. It's negative inside, positive outside. Standard plug. I wired it up to 11 volts lithium ion. This is just a simple, you know, lithium ion batteries using a flashlight or whatever. Rigged up this little thing here. And uh, I can run my game gear off it. I can play games. So I. Uh, that's it. I also have this 12 volt battery here that I made. I used um, mini T batteries that I don't use anymore. Sold them, sold them together to make a 12 volt battery. Okay. So there we are. Connected the mini T battery and see if it works yeah Sega and Super Monaco Grand Prix so basically if you get a battery you know it could be like this this is a nickel metal hydride battery this is a lithium battery and as long as they're around about 10 to 12 volts we'll say 9 to 12 volts you make a little plug like this Uh, you can get your game gear running on an external battery so instead of going on eBay and buying the massively expensive uh, external battery you can just make one yourself just out of lithium, ba lithium ion batteries or any battery that you have as long as it's I'd say rated from 9 to 12 volts it'll work and uh, this little cable here I just cut off uh, an old power supply that was broken that was burnt out you know, standard cable. I think it's 2.2 millimeter cable. Negative inside, positive outside. Um, I think the older Game Gear has kind of changed, and uh, they have a slightly different power input. So you just want to make sure that you get it right. Um, but that's it. Yeah, you can run your Game Gear off of an external power supply instead of using uh, the AA batteries. And uh, that's it.